Welcome back to Markets Today. I'm your host, Mbitha Mwema. In studio, we are joined by Mr. George Munga, who is the Managing Director for AMG Capital Partners. Mr. Munga is taking us through unpacking the numbers that were published by the National Bureau of Statistics as far as the leading indicators are concerned. Now, the economy, the investors, the economists as well are all waiting for the second quarter GDP numbers, but this are yet to come out. These numbers were due on the 30th of September, but what we have received from the National Bureau of Statistics instead is the leading indicators for the month of September. Today, we will unpack those numbers and get a sense of where we are at and what to expect in coming months. Welcome thank to you. the show, George. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bede. Okay, before we look at uh, this report, I mm -hmm. know you are in the business of consulting with mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. SMEs mm -hmm. and um, micro businesses, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. maybe you can just briefly take us through mm -hmm. the tenants of your business mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what has been the feeling on the ground mm -hmm. over the last six months. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, from, from where I see it, I would want to uh, put it that uh, uh, the, the projections when this pandemic started were a bit gloomy, but so far I think the economy has been resilient, uh, so to speak. And uh, we have come from the worst month, that is the month of May, June, July, and at least we are starting to see activity in major economic economic uh, uh, sectors. There are a few sectors here and there that are still quite down. That is talking about the tourism sector, and talking about education sector. But otherwise, the rest of the sectors are starting to, 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 to experience quite uh, some activities. Uh, and if I may borrow from uh, the, 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 the Kenyan National Bureau of Statistics figures, then you can see uh, that there is hope in this quarter that we've just started and the quarter to, uh, to start in January 2021. 20, uh, so, uh, so far, I think uh, my, my, my take is the economy has been resilient and we expect uh, better, uh, b better growth as we go into quarter four of, of this year and quarter one of, uh, of, of next year. Uh, be there. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when we look at this report, mm -hmm. these are the leading indicators, mm -hmm. but we were sort of waiting for the GDP numbers. Mm -hmm, Is mm -hmm, there any mm -hmm. read-through or should we just take it as a normalcy in terms of the possible delay in the receipt of the numbers? I, I think for GDP numbers, I would want to understand, I want to, 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 to put myself in the shoes of the, the central bank governor. Uh, so much so much happened in, uh, in quarter two and quarter three of, of this year, and probably they had not taken into account some of the, some of the statistics that they, they, they should have uh, gotten. But that notwithstanding, uh, I, I, I believe the GDP number should be out uh, maybe in the, in, the, the next, in the next month, if not uh, before the end of this, of this month, because that, that is a critical function of, of of the central bank and they need to give us uh, 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 those figures. But so far from what we've gotten from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, I believe uh, we might be looking at a GDP uh, growth of around uh, uh, 4 to 5 percent uh, for, 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 uh, for, for Q3. And it might go to uh, maybe 4.5, 4.6 percent as we close, as we close uh, uh, this year. Okay. If you looked at uh, the, the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics uh, and be there, uh, I think they, 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 have, they focused mainly on consumer price index, they focused on inflation uh, figures, they focused on our forex, uh, our forex reserves. And if you look at these figures vis-a-vis -vis where we were in May, June, then you can see the, 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 slight, the, the slight growth in some of those, some of those uh, indices, uh, so to speak. Uh, so from, from an economic perspective, I think we are starting to see uh, a pickup from where, uh, where we are. I think the lowest month was the month of uh, May and, uh, and June. Okay. If you look at July going into August and now, and now September, October, at least they, 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 we are starting to see some, uh, some slight growth. It's slow, but there's some slight growth in major sectors uh, of the economy. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think those are sector um, review in terms of looking at the manufacturing sector there was a review of the ict sector mm -hmm. as well as the energy and the agricultural mm -hmm. sector mm -hmm. and these statistics had come out or rather cover the period as at end of august mm -hmm. what was your read through past sector uh, let, let, me, let me just take you through uh, before i go to the, the sectoral uh, reviews yes let me take you uh, back to the major indices uh, what, what, they, what they what they speak to uh, to us if you look at the consumer price index that is the cost of the household basket uh, when you go out there, what, what, what you buy on a day-to-day, -day, uh, uh, what you buy for day-to-day -day use, uh, it increased from one, one, one uh, 108.35 in, uh, in July to 108.57 in, in August, which is a small increase. Yes. And that can be explained from
from now the, the relaxation of, 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 the, the, of the, the policies that the government has put in place so at least people out there are trying to, 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 to engage themselves in economic activities so that is likely to, uh, to, to, to go higher probably to go into, into, into uh, October and then you look at our inflation figures yes um, something that I must credit uh, governor uh, our, our current our central bank governor with that has managed to maintain our inflation figures to below uh, 4.5 percent there's a month that it went to 4.6 percent but just for a month then it went back to 4.5 uh, percent currently we are at 4.36 percent which is which is a good thing if you look at our our, our neighbors the, the economies of neighbors, that is you look at Tanzania you look at Uganda you look at uh, Rwanda their inflation figures are five between five and, and eight percent so right. that we must give credit to uh, to, to the central bank uh, but what's what's uh, the governor. advantage um, George I think the, the, the advantage is if, if if our inflation figures were to go beyond uh, beyond 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 five six percent then you'll, you'll start seeing our our, our forex foreign exchange uh, figures uh, climbing higher if you see if, 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 if our inflation figures were to go to five or six percent then Kenya shilling vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the, US, the USD will go past uh, the 110 the 110 mark that okay. is the, that is the risk meaning our imports will become uh, more expensive and that has a ripple effect on the CPI the consumer price index meaning most of the the, the, the products that you use will uh, the, the, the prices will go uh, uh, will will go will, will go uh, higher something else that I that I wanted just to mention is our foreign exchange uh, figures have, have, have fluctuated quite a lot between the month of July, August, and now, and now October. We were at uh, at, at 10, uh, 10, 105 in in July, late June, July, and then we went to 106, and currently we are at 108, which is quite uh, quite high. But that is explainable. Remember, we had an economic lull between uh, the month of March and the month of, of 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 July, and then the economy was opened. That is when now I mean uh, most traders rushed to try and and and, and, and import their, their 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 wares. Remember the issue we, we had with the second-hand clothes uh, yes. dealers. Uh, so when, when that demand comes into the market, then you expect it to push, to push the price of, of the dollar in the market. So I think 108 is the highest that it will go, okay. though it might go to 109, but I'm foreseeing it stabilizing at 108 before starting to come uh, to come down. So our Forex uh, figures, though they are high, but I see it as a short-term a, a short uh, shake-up in the market, which should stabilize back to around 105, 103, okay. where, it, uh, where, where it used to the way it used to uh, to be. And so, then if, George, if uh, I may, uh, just so uh, you're uh, saying uh, it's really pent up demand that correct. has caused the weakness correct, to correct, 108. Correct, correct. But then you're also saying that you applaud the Central Bank of Kenya mm -hmm. in as far as managing the inflation. Correct. If you take a two year horizon, because mm -hmm. we are beginning to get the political bickering, mm -hmm. we are about to get into mm -hmm. an election mm -hmm. cycle, mm -hmm. if not a referendum mm -hmm. cycle, mm -hmm. are there possible threats that could actually ha um, have an impact on mm -hmm. the inflation figures and, mm -hmm. in a way, have a causal impact mm -hmm. on the currency mm -hmm. exchange rate mm -hmm. to the dollar. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it is it is it is it is a dicey moment for for the government. They must manage it quite well. We are coming out. We are we coming out from a recession, so to speak. And it is not only for Kenya, but uh, worldwide all over the, glo the globe over. And therefore, this is a time uh, to focus more on economic recovery than on uh, than on politics. I would I would want to urge the political class maybe to give uh, the citizenry at least another one year before they start engaging on serious politics so that the economy can uh, can recover from what we've lost between uh, March and, and, and to date. But if, if the, 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 the political rhetoric uh, picks up as, 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 as the pointers are, as are, are, are giving us, then we might uh, we start seeing uh, uh, negative economic indicators on, on, our, on our major economic, on economic uh, parameters, okay. uh, so to speak. All so right. that is something that we must, uh, we must address. And I believe uh, the president is, is, is looking into, in, into that. I don't know how they're going to manage it, but at least the, the, the the political class should give us another one year before, before. they start their the political <laughs> yeah. uh, rhetoric okay. to give to give the citizenry time to, to, to recover uh, the lost uh, the, the lost uh, the lost period. Uh, okay. the, yes. All right. <laughs> so again, now so we've we've sort of looked at um, some of the indicators. You've given us an overview of CPI and inflation. Thank you very much mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. We've touched mm -hmm. on currency, and mm -hmm. you're saying the current weakness has been uh, largely based on pent up mm -hmm. demand. Correct, correct. But there could be some risks depending on mm -hmm. how the politics mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm. What about the interest rates? That's another indicator that this report 
report um, alluded to? I think interest rates have likely been uh, have likely been uh, stable uh, be there. And uh, again, on this, I would want to 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 uh, to connect with the, the central bank the way it has managed the the, the money markets uh, up to this up to this uh, stage. Remember, interest rates have been oscillating between thirteen to fourteen percent uh, maximum. Uh, central bank instructed uh, the commercial banks to restructure uh, their loans those who are not able to uh, to pay. And I think commercial banks took queue and restructured almost, I think, almost 360 billion uh, thereabout of, of their loans. And now that the economy is starting to, I mean, to look up, uh, they are starting to to, to, to look uh, to look at some of those restructured loans. How are they? How are they being are they, uh, being paid? So I think uh, when we look at uh, the money market risk, I think interest rate is, I mean, interest rate is is, is, is low, is, is down there. I don't foresee interest rates going beyond 14 percent okay. in the next in the next uh, one year or so because one there has been liquidity in the market that has not been uh, that has not been uh, taken uh, by the by the business by the business Where is this uh, liquidity uh, and i know the, the report also talks about money supply uh -huh, m2 uh -huh. maybe you correct, can also correct, just correct, align correct, to correct, that correct, particular correct, element correct, correct, correct. Mm. there's been quite uh, some liquidity in uh, in the market remember uh, 2019 coming 2020 uh, the economy was already not doing very well meaning uh, credit creation was not was, was not that fast as it used to, as it at is as it used to be so most commercial banks had liquidity liquidity in their coffers that they are not pushed out there uh, to, to, to to commercial enterprises and now with the pandemic opportunities uh, uh, dwindled uh, meaning there are very few uh, businesses going into the bank to pick uh, to pick up uh, credit so there's that liquidity in, 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 in with banks uh, what I'm trying to say is that the supply of liquidity is more than uh, the demand okay. so that in a sense means Means that interest rates are likely to be to, to, to remain at 13, uh, 13, 14 percent. But as it and 13 up, and 14 is the cost of uh, borrowing correct, um, correct, from your correct, bank. Correct, so correct, the correct, rate. correct, right. correct. Okay. As, as, as demand as demand for credit picks up, you might see uh, our, our interest rate going to 15 percent. But that I foresee maybe in in the second or the third quarter or the fourth quarter of, 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 of next year. So I foresee 13, 14 percent between now and, and June and June uh, uh, next year. If you look at our our money supply and I want to concentrate on what we call the broad money supply. That's the, 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 the money that the liquidity that uh, me and you have in our pocket, what is in the banks, okay. and the near money, yes. the near money or, or near cash equivalents. Uh, it, it, it was at around 3.2 around uh, March, April, and then it, it has gone up to around 3.6 uh, uh, billion. Meaning, they, 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 that's what I was saying, that there's a, there's, there's a lot of liquidity in, 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 the banking, in the banking, in the banking, in the banking sector. Okay. Wait, wait, let, me, let, me, let me explain to you where it is coming from. Uh, most businesses had uh, a very pessimistic view of, of the market. Remember the likes of equity uh, didn't pay their dividends. The, the, the explanation was that there's a lot of uh, uncertainty in the market. Therefore, we want to maintain our liquidity so that we cushion ourselves from what might happen in the, in the near future. So most uh, commercial enterprises uh, kept a lot of money to cushion themselves again against any shocks that were, were to come uh, with the pandemic. That is why uh, you see the, 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 the broad money supply has, has, has increased to, to, to those uh, to those levels. Okay. But as things stabilize in this quarter, you would you, 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 you start seeing those, 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 those liquidity, I mean those uh, broad money supply uh, going down as people take up more uh, uh, more credit. Remember also the government has been uh, borrowing but not very heavily yes. locally. They have been trying to borrow uh, offshore uh, with, with, with a small percentage uh, locally, as we as, as as probably the economic the economy picks up, they they want to borrow uh, even more uh, uh, locally. So that will uh, start uh, bring I mean giving pressure on the supply of money in the market, okay. and that might push uh, uh, interest interest rates. Okay. Yes. But then on the flip side, your mm -hmm. your expectation on the lending rates is more mm -hmm. or less stable, Correct. and you're also saying that um, there is there has been growth in uh, broad money supply, Correct. Correct. but this growth in supply is literally sitting in the banks. Mm -hmm. What has that meant for deposit rates? For savers, the for, savings for, for rates. Savers, by the, uh, what, what that means is that uh, the, the consideration that is paid to savers, that is the interest paid to savers, has been quite uh, uh, depressed, and it's going to be depressed uh, for, for, for the next for the next uh, quarter. I think the average the average the average uh, FD rates currently starting at starting at around five point five percent, which is. I think could be the lowest we've had in the last in the last uh, three years. So if we see that probably in, the, in this quarter and then the, the, the quarter of, of the first quarter of 20, uh, 2020, uh, 2020, uh, 2021. The reason is there, there, there are very little avenues for uh, 
for, 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 for investments. If you look at the TB rates uh, currently, we are talking about 6.24%, uh, which, is, which is quite low uh, for any investor in, uh, in the market. That's uh, true. That is why there's a lot of money that is sitting, that is sitting with, the, uh, with the banks. But as, as, as the economy picks up, you, you, you get a lot of, credit, a lot of uh, people applying for credit in the banks, and that will push now the, the yields uh, for, for, for the savers in, in the banking, the banking and the banking sector. Okay. Uh, yes. Well, interesting. Uh -huh. It just sounds like mm -hmm. you don't have too many investment options. Correct, correct, correct. If correct. your money stays safe, it, it adds nothing. Uh, because if you're earning 6.26 uh -huh. yet, uh -huh. the, uh -huh. the rate of inflation uh -huh. is about 4.3. Correct, correct, correct. Your real return is neither it's, here it's, or there. Less, less than 2%. It's less than 2%. Uh, less than 2%. But correct, correct, that doesn't, correct. It's, no. it's, it's quite little. Yes. But uh, I think this is, on, this is on the, the, the major, the major the, what, what informs most uh, treasury managers or, yes. or most investment analysts is safety of their investment safety of uh, investment rather okay. than the, 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 the ROI oh, right. on those on those the return of investment. look at the safety of investment. You'd, you'd rather maintain your 100 million then than, <laughs> than, than lose it if you uh, have the 100 it. million yeah, correct, correct. unless you have 10,000 you're trying to double it okay we take a <laughs> correct, short break correct. when we come back we are continuing this conversation on the leading indicators trying to break it down just to help you understand why should you pay attention to these factors or this data sets and what do they mean for you as a business owner or as an investor we are speaking to Mr. George Munga, who is the managing partner for AMG. And for this conversation, we would like to ask you to tell us, what are your key considerations? Do you, any of these numbers even make sense for you? It is the final quarter of the year. Are you optimistic? Are you pessimistic? And what's the one thing you feel that the government needs to hear from you so that these indicators that are published on a regular basis can make sense to you? That's 20146, or you can reach out to us on our social media platforms. That's Metropole TV or at Mbitha Mwema on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn. We will see you after the break.